After the devastation of the Third World War, humanity has crawled from the ashes and is once again reaching for the stars. Two political forces, the corporations and the Order of the New Dawn, are leading the colonization of alien worlds. Military conflict has been banned by treaty on Earth, and those treaties are enforced by nuclear failsafes. But the colony worlds are rife with battles over resources, over trade routes, even for prestige. Livable worlds are rare, and life is cheap. Indeed. Greetings and welcome to another Let's Play series. Welcome to Let's Play Ground Control. Another blast from my past. A game that I have enjoyed on occasion. Well, actually, it's mostly just because uh, back when this game was announced, uh, there was a beta program for uh, mostly testing the multiplayer, I think. And for once, well, it was one of those betas that wasn't actually region locked to North America. Which, you know, I think really should have happened more back in the day. Because how else are you going to test your network strength? So I applied for it and I surprisingly enough was accepted. Well, surprisingly to me, of course. I don't know how many people they managed to get for this. Uh... But anyway, they sent me a disc and I played it. Mostly just a demo of the single player. And I did try the multiplayer game, but back then I was still on... Uh... Well, not on dial-up. That, well, that was well before that. I, I, ISDN, but... Oof. Not good. I think I managed to be able to manage to get into a single uh, multiplayer game and I pretty much got nuked in the moment I spawned. I think. I mean, we had s I had so few frames per second, I couldn't really tell what was happening. I just knew I wasn't killing anything. But anyway, that's enough of that. What uh, most appealed to me about ground control is how they touted that this was uh, RTS, but different, in that most RTS at that point had still relied mostly on build up a base, build up your units, and attack. Now, this one doesn't do that. If you have a base, it's already built, you don't, and you only have to either build, uh, protect your base, or destroy the enemy base. Nothing else matters. You get your units, and you, and you fight. Which is sort of interesting, a little, little bit more focus on tactics, and it does remove some micromanagement. But anyway, let's get going. Because we are here to control some ground. Alright, let's try this again, because the game is not entirely stable. But it might be because I was trying to get a widescreen patch, and I couldn't do it. Hence why you're seeing this game in this ridiculous window. I'll skip the boot camp because I don't think you need that. Well, I don't need it. a party. While that Dawny ship runs back to its mama, it's time for us to introduce ourselves planet side, face to face like. It'll be my turn next once these suits and weapons are ready. I'll squeeze my four squads into one of those giant metal coffins and hopefully the pilots will be kind enough to put us down in one piece. It's no joyride though, that's for sure. Been a while since I've done this. Oh, it'll all come back quickly. Always does. A 
After I talk with VP Hayes, we'll get right to claiming ground for Craven and company and taking it away from that crazed order. They have too many troops down there, though. It's not going to be easy. They'll fight us every step of the way. And not everyone will be coming back. Hello, Major. I'm glad you could finally make it in this morning. Briefing was scheduled for eight standard minutes ago. Sorry, ma'am. I've been checking the suits and ordnance before the mission. No one in maintenance shook them down. Very well, then. My expert systems agree with you. The enemy buildup in the Oracle Dunes must be halted. Take a squad in and destroy the Order's central communication relay for the region. A single squad? But I recommended at least three to deal with the reinforcements that the Dawnies are bound to call in. Equipping three squads for such a simple mission is not financially viable. Since you're concerned with the Order's reinforcements, I suggest you accomplish your objective before they arrive. But... Sorry, Major, I have a staff meeting to attend. You have your orders. Enrica out. Lovely. All right, I'll be playing on noble difficulty because I don't think I could handle heart at my age. I have to stop saying things like that. It makes me sound old. Anyways, we have the Eagle Claws Infantry. Cool name, I'll keep it. I can rename the squads if I want to, so... If I uh, have some particularly lame names coming in the list and you feel you have a better one, please do feel free to let me know in the comments. In any case, Marine Infantry, your basic stock standard infantry uh, thing. Uh, infantry troops. Quite good. Capable of defeating light Cerodyne armor, yeah, well, pretty much everything can defeat light Cerodyne armor. Keeping your own Cerodynes alive is pretty much the goal. So let's New launch and see if I can remember all the controls. Because there's quite a few hotkeys to remember. remember. Mission update. The Order's communication relay is here. Analysis of enemy communication traffic indicates that reinforcements will arrive in approximately 10 minutes. Recommendation? Load troops in your APC to move them faster. Alright, we'll do that. I'll just follow the APC in. in the... So we just have to defeat the comm relay. Easy enough. Ooh. Enemy attacking the enemy PC. We've got some resistance. Major. Just a couple of scout hover bikes, not really a threat. Now, the APC is not really meant for mainline combat. Command APC taking friendly fire. Squad one recharging. Enemy That's why we have the infantry. Alright, let's kill them both. Enemy hover dying destroyed. And now these hover dines are also not really meant for combat. So, should be able to deal with them quite quickly, especially at this rate. Enemy attacking squad one. Squad one recharging. Enemy hover dying destroyed. All right. Moving right away, major. Moving forward. Now time is of the essence here because now that I've been spotted, no doubt reinforcements have been requested. They will come too late, but you know, it's a thought that counts. It's pretty. Mu it is very much possible to lose in this mission. But that would require me just letting my uh, command APC be destroyed. All right, let's go into line formation. Command APC taking friendly fire. All right, kill, kill the Howardine. Enemy attacking squad one. All right, never mind. Focus on the pulse turrets. Enemy structure destroyed. Alright, right, that's... Oh, there he's one. back again. Squad one recharging. Enemy Havadine destroyed. Alright, move forward. 
get a little bit closer in to ensure that I have APC taking friendly fire. That I have good accuracy and then standing still to ensure that I actually Squad have accuracy. Enemy infantry I mean the enemy infantry is quite dispersed at the moment so no way. defeating this should be that. easy enough. Enemy right. destroyed. Enemy attacking squad one. Squad one recharging. Enemy infantry destroyed. Now I don't need to kill the entire base, although killing extra structures probably doesn't hurt. This is the only building that needs to die. And everybody's shooting, good. Then they should be going quite quickly. I do love the little bit of detail on this building. All the 3D models they have here. I mean, some of the details are amazing. For the time that uh, this game had. As the dish actually spins around. For instance. Texture work is maybe not quite as clear as it could be. But you know. Enemy structure destroyed. All right. Communication relay destroyed. Objective achieved. Recommendation: immediately withdraw your forces to the marked pickup point. Use your APC to move your troops quickly. Will do. Now it doesn't matter how much your troops get damaged during a mission. As long as at least one unit is intact, they will just simply get reinforced. And you will not lose precious experience points, which is what we are trying to get as much of. If your unit is killed completely, it will get replaced, but it will be replaced with rookies. Which is obviously not what you want. You kinda wish there was a boost option on the APC sometimes, but you know, this is as fast as we can evacuate with the troops. I don't think there's actually a limit to how many troops you can fit in this APC, by the way. Which makes it sound feel like a bit more like a clown car. Initiating landing routines. Get ready to fast load, Major. This zone is going to be hot soon. We'll be dropping the ramps as soon as we touch down. Warning. Order transports now on radar. ETA, five minutes. No, that's too late, because the dropship is already here. On this tour, we don't have the units for the typical assault plan. The best we can do is more operations like today's. Get in fast, take out something valuable to the order, and get out before they can drop in reinforcements. With our crews are busy jockeying for position with the Donnie's war wagon, we can't even get decent telemetry on the surface. The downside is, unless we attack in strength, it's going to take months to track down every stronghold. In the meantime, they'll be jumping all over our positions. Still, I'm surprised we got away with hitting that comm relay so easily today. I guess the Donnie's must be spread out pretty thin themselves. But the question is why? What the hell are their troops guarding that's more important than their own installations? Very intriguing question. Alright, so... She has not killed anything, Don. Well, she destroyed a building. And the Eagle Claws, ooh, they got medals. Field excellence and aggressive. Eight confirmed kills, three buildings destroyed. Well done. Right, next mission. Major, I need you and your men prepped and on dropship. Uh, Denver in 15 minutes. Ma'am? But we're in the middle of our rest period. We need downtime for maintenance. I am aware of your schedule, Major. This is an emergency. We have a new contact and I need you to make the pickup. A contact? Yes. Bishop de Londre of the Order. He is seeking employment at the Craven Corporation. A bishop? Defecting? That's what I said, Major. Unfortunately, his own forces wish to deny him this opportunity and are in pursuit. My troops will be on the pad in five. Well, nice and succinct. We have another uh, infantry squad, the Ripper Jacks. Yeah. For some reason, they are always set to offensive for this mission. I don't know why. Nah, might as well leave it on. The, um, the various stand settings, I don't really think matter all that much. Depending a little bit on the units, I mean, they're both just marines so once we get different types of infantry available that will probably change i'll just leave as is and go New drop zone dropship entering atmosphere right 
Mission update. Receiving a transmission from the order defector. Position is triangulated. Understood. We will enter the APC. Move order received. All right, let's follow them in. We just have to rendezvous with the uh, the guy, which requires us to go around through this area. Shouldn't be light resistance, though. You line formation acknowledged. Yep. Line formation. Formations are sort of useful in that way. I mean putting them in a line will allow me to maximize the amount of firepower I can pour on a single target. In a box they are somewhat more compact and thus harder to hit. Understood. Enemy attacking humanity PC. Yeah, oh oh oh. Negative Squad one taking friendly fire. No, that's not what I want you to do. Damn it. Release. Squad 2 taking friendly fire. Enemy attacking squad 1. Alright. Squad 1 recharging. I'm at the rendezvous point, but the order has discovered my absence and is hunting me. Please, hurry. Enemy attacking command APC. Might as well make use of the special items while we have them. Enemy infantry destroyed. Oh, got some hoffer bikes in the back. Squad one in charge. Enemy attacking squad two. Enemy hover dying destroyed. Squad two taking friendly fire. We will enter the APC. All right, let's head back in there. Squad two recharging. All right, he's got some line of fire from these hoffer bikes. Not all that much danger yet. All right, everybody aboard. Right, let's move out to the rendezvous. Why isn't he shooting back? Oh, we got more contacts. Move order received. Squad two recharging. Command APC taking friendly fire. Command APC taking friendly fire. Enemy attacking squad two. Squad two recharging. Enemy infantry destroyed. We will enter the APC. Now, under most normal circumstances, you want to be a little bit more conservative with your special items, but in this case, I don't think it's warranted. Yeah, my command APC has taken much more damage than I'd prefer. She can't heal herself, which is a problem. Right away, Major. And you'll, you'll get items later on that will allow you to heal the APC, but you know. That's not for a while yet. The Holy Roller's looking pretty badly hit. We'll need immediate medical on Dustoff, and he's got a horde of Dornies on his tail. Alright, let's go. Allied destroyed. Enemy attacking command APC. Squad we 2 lost recharging. the detector APC. He might still be alive though. Secure the area so we can search the wreck. Area secured. Search the wreck and try to help the bishop before he bleeds to death. Get your APC in there and rescue him. And there he is, the man himself. Hey, hey, hey. Padre, you're safe. We got you. Dropship Denver. Have medics ready. We got a bleeder. <sighs> no. No time for medics. I am beyond their skills. I will pay the price for turning my back on the order. Don't be crazy. We didn't come all this way to let you die in our arms. No more... T no more time. You must stop the order. Project Garm. They are wrong. Not angels. Devils. Take this data disk. Tell them. Devils. Devils. Allied infantry destroyed. Damn. Warning. Order forces approaching in overwhelming numbers. 98% chance of unit destruction if current position maintained. 
Return immediately to drop zone for evac. Well, you say return. That's not where we dropped. But yeah. Getting serious all of a sudden. Oh, we're just having a fun little war here. Oh well. Yeah, I don't really need to change any of these just yet. Not until we actually get to a stealth mission of some kind. Mission accomplished. I know the medics would issue a reprimand if they caught me going over my alcohol allowance, but I need a drink to drive that bishop's face from my mind. I think he died of fear as much as his wounds, like the hounds of hell were actually going to pour out of the sands to get us. What the hell is he thinking trying to defect? I've seen bishops will their own hearts to stop before letting a heretic touch their robes. Then there's this guy running to us like we were his only hope in the world. I wish we'd justified his faith. You must stop the order. But, but why? What is Project Garm? And what could be so terrible that it could turn a bishop into a traitor? Maybe after another drink, I can follow Enrica's orders and forget everything I saw and heard today. I'm beginning to really hate this assignment. Already? All right. Still inexperienced, but you did get two kills. Ah, more medals for field excellence. And you got seven kills, not really all that impressive then. Oh well. But that'll have to do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.